Hi there and welcome back to the channel. So today in the workshop I'm going to be covering how to cut threads on the lathe, what tools you need and how you go about it. First of all you might be wondering why would I use a lathe to cut threads? I've got a tap and die set, why not just use that? But the lathe is really good in the fact that it keeps all your work straight and 90 degrees to each other. So if you use the lathe to cut threads, you're never going to cut threads wonky. They're always going to be perfectly straight. And also, if you're ever wanting to cut, maybe say an unusual thread, um, maybe something really large, say like a, I don't know, say an M50 thread. I imagine a tap or die to go with that is going to be an extortionate amount of money and you might only use it the once. So when you get the fundamentals of learning to cut threads down, you should be able to apply that to any size thread that your lathe can do. So today's going to be a little bit of a journey, not just for you, but also for me, because I've never actually used the lathe yet to cut threads. I've watched many tutorial videos and have the fundamental knowledge of how to do it, but in practice and principle, I've never actually done it. So today, we're both going to be learning something here. If I bring you over to the bench now, we'll go through exactly what tools and bits you need to do this. So if you're watching this video, it goes without saying that you've got a lathe. So that is the first tool you're going to need. Secondly, you're going to need some of these change gears. These almost always come with your lathe. So these are what you're going to need to look on your charts and see what size change gears it says to use for what pitch of thread. But we will go through that in a bit more detail in a minute when I actually come to need to change them. But yeah, you normally get a quite a large assortment to cover all the range of threads that you need on your lathe. So next we're going to need to look at our cutting tools. So... Your conventional cutting tools that you've probably been using at the minute to do facing off and turning down of stock, they're not going to be any good for this. What you need is thread cutting tools. So I've got a high speed stainless and a just a carbide insert one here. So these will ba both do exactly the same thing. They're just two slightly different tools. But the main principle of them is Right on the cutting tips here, don't know if you can see that in focus. So these cutting tips are 60 degree cutting tips. So they will cut a 60 degree angle into your thread. And that's what you need for most conventional threads. Um, things like Archimedes screw threads, they are a little bit different. But for the standard threads that we're going to be cutting, these are what you're going to need. And obviously, you're going to need some way of measuring uh, your bar stock before you cut the threads so you can either use the old calipers or as I've just made a nice new purchase I'm going to be testing out my new micrometer just for shits and gigs so that is all the tools that you're going to need next thing we've got to do is move over to the lathe and go a little bit through a bit more the change gears darn it so it's probably going to be quite hard for you guys to make out but on the front of my lathe it's got a chart here and this chart has got all different picture threads and under that picture threads it shows you the change gears which you will need. So we're going to be cutting today an M10 by 1.5 thread. So on here you can see I'm going to need a 52, a 40, a 60 and an 80 gear and they are all housed within here. So let's have a little look at that quickly. So with a bit of fiddling and working out exactly what gears you need going by the chart on your lathe, there's no point me going over it on mine because all lathes I believe might be different. So just go by the chart which is on your lathe. But basically all this does is it sets the correct ratio for the headstock spinning to the lead screw on the bottom. That way when the headstock spin in, the work is moving down at a steady rate, which should cut the pitch of thread that you need. So I'm going to put all the cover back on this. I've set all the backlash on the gears correctly. So next thing to do now is 
put the cover back on and head back up to the lathe. So back up on the lathe, I've got my bit of material in the chuck. So I've turned this outer diameter that you can see in red here down to just below 10 mil, which is what we need to cut the threads. I've also just cut in this little relief here so the cutting tool has somewhere to drop into and isn't going to collide straight in with some metal. So I'm just going to quickly run through the process of what we're going to do. So in a minute I'm going to start up the lathe in forward. Uh, it's going to be about between about 150 to 200 RPM is good for this. And you literally want to start here, set your tool just so it's scratching off on the material and then you want to engage your half nut. With the half nut engaged, that's going to pull this tool through your work here at a steady rate, which should be a 1.5 mil pitch thread. And then when it gets into this little gully here, we're going to turn off the machine. But it's really important that when you get to this stage, keep your half nut engaged for the way that I'm going to show you to do it. So there we have our first scratch pass here. So I'm just going to check with our thread gauge just to make sure that is 1.5 mil. And yep, so it's bang on 1.5 mil. If at this stage the thread that you've got here isn't what you want it to be, it's probably because you've got your change gears set up wrong. So just go back and double check that. So now what I'm going to do now is a lot different to what other people on YouTube do. I'm now going to flip the machine into reverse and I'm now going to reverse my work back with the half nut still engaged till I come to this, come right back here out to the piece of work. So come back out there and when we're out we'll stop the machine again. So now with the machine stopped, this is where you flip it back into forwards. And now I'm going to put a depth of cut into this. So I'm going to go in. We're going to go in 0 0.05 mil, and I'm going to engage the machine again. Again, not even touching the half nut, just keeping that locked in. And that should just follow the path of the old cut, and then just stop it when you get into that groove. So you're going to just keep repeating this over and over again for a while, flipping your machine to reverse. Not winding in any cuts when we're in reverse. So just letting the machine wind back and it should follow that thread that you've just cut. And then when you're out and clear, flip it to forward and I'm gonna go in another 0.05 mil. So we're just gonna keep repeating that process over and over again. And you should start to see some nice threads form. Reverse it back. And we're going to go in again. So start that up. And watch it cut in. Reverse it back. So as a rough ballpark figure, if we're cutting a 1.5 mil thread, just start off with doing something like 750, which is roughly half of 150. And then once you get to that point, check your nut on there and see how you're going. So I'm gonna come back when I've got a little bit closer to that measurement. So we've got a thread that screws on here now, which is lovely, but still a little bit tight. So I'm just gonna go a tiny bit more. So rewind it. So I'm going to wind it into 800 now, so that's 0.8 mil. Again, I'm using a DRO at the minute, so this is making my life really easy. So flip that to forward, and this should be the final pass. Right, let's try a nut on there.
Yeah, that seems to screw all the way on there. So there we have it, our first thread cut on the lathe using a single point cutting tool. So there's many different ways about going about cutting threads on the lathe. So this is just sort of like the most basic one that I could think of. Um, I'll just re quickly recap over, as this is towards the end of the video now, what we've done to get some threads into the lathe like this. So I basically engaged the half nut, which keeps the carriage locked onto the lead screw. So by doing that and moving forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, should I say, it means I'm never gonna get any error in, in disengaging and engaging the half nut because the half nut is always kept engaged. So I reckon for aluminium and brass, this is a really easy method. And as a rule of thumb, if you just go to half of what the pitch of thread is, so in this case it was 1.5 mil pitch of thread, so I've gone down to 0 0.75 mil and cut into that. That will give you a rough ballpark figure of if your nut is then going to fit on there. So I had to take this down to 0 0.8 mil, which is a little bit more, but that is not an issue when you've got when you're using the lathe because you can just take out a little bit more. So yeah, this is a really simple method in cutting threads on the lathe, and it's actually turned out really well. So I'm super super happy with that. So if you found this video useful then please, by all means, drop a comment below just saying how useful you found it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and just leave a comment saying subscribe and I'll get straight back to you. But for now, that is all from the workshop. So go back to your workshops and make something awesome. See you in the next one, guys.